Hello everyone. We're going to be talking about mesh topology and different human sizes, uh, different body types. This is the Make Human Mesh and there's going to be some Barbie doll nudity, so if that bothers you, now is your last chance to turn off the video and walk away. The biggest advantage of the Make Human Mesh is that it is CC0, meaning I can use it for anything I want. And that's really important to me because that means that I can distribute my final product as an open source solution or open source thing and anyone who wants to can use it however they want. But it has some problems. The biggest issue with the Make Human Mesh is that it is a skinny person mesh and I would say 95 percent of all meshes on the internet are skinny person meshes and to show you what I mean this is literally the fattest character that Make Human can create. Yeah, that is their definition of super heavyweight. So my world that I plan to build is going to have people who are significantly heavier than that. I mean, not all of them. There's going to be skinny people and, and you know fit people and all that stuff. But I want the spectrum. I want to have a really wide range. Uh, and that means that I need to have a mesh which can look okay even on a much heavier person. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sculpting this mesh into a um, into an obese character right here on camera and we will be discussing uh, things like edge loops while we do so. So I'm leaving it as rough, shad rough shading rather than smooth shading so I can see the faces as I pull because these faces I have to be careful to distort them in more or less the same amount so that they don't become skewed. So right now I'm just pulling out the belly. There we go. Now we're going to pull out the hips like this. Maybe the inner hips too, the inner thigh, I guess. And we can, you know, adjust this however we want. Um, I'm not too concerned about how fat the legs are going to be, though, so I'm going to leave those skinny for now. Let's pull the chest region out, put a layer of, of fat there, and then pull these out and down, stretch them. There we go. Alright, well that part is my error. There we are. I let that inner edge loop get a little too compressed. Alright, now let's add a little bit of weight to the neck and face. Come on, you. Uh, good enough. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. Basically, the problem is that fat has a particular way that it lies on the human body and edge loops are normally optimized so that they emphasize the lines that you're trying to put on your character. Unfortunately for 99 percent of all um, all models you find everywhere on the market the optimization is for muscular characters or skinny characters meaning that it emphasizes either bone or muscle rather than fat. Um, now, while I don't want to have just fat characters, I do need to make sure that this model works okay uh, for heavyweight characters. I'm not too concerned about fit characters. Um, one of the things I will be allowing in this game is players can upload their own meshes or put in their own mods for the meshes. So if there is a big call for specific kinds of meshes, players will be able to create that. But I don't want to start out with only skinny people. I want to start out with everyone. 
um, and that means that I need to allow for some heavy meshes. And I've accidentally made this guy kind of grotesque. That's okay though. Um, if you are particularly heavy and uh, don't like the way I've taken this character, my apologies. I'm just doing it real quick just to make sure that the edge, the uh, face loops don't distort too much and that that still looks decent. Now here you can see one of the biggest issues with creating fat people off of skinny meshes and that is that these edge loops under the bust get compressed. And that's because pecs naturally uh, get flabbier and lower and can even fold over entirely in many cases and uh, what you see there is that this loop here would actually be tucked in underneath if we were trying to go for an overhang. Now overhanging mesh components are actually somewhat, um, like this for example, they're actually somewhat dangerous uh, because they don't um, uh, they don't really react very well to attempts to stick to them. But for our particular, and uh, I mean we're going to be by, sorry I'm not being clear, when you're doing something like a shrimp or shrink wrap system or a blended key system, a shape key system, you have to worry about any time when your mesh folds over itself when it's not folded over itself at another time. So if you go from having a tight region to having a floppy region, then you're going to have a lot of issues with how that interacts with other shape keys later on. So you have to be aware of that and you have to be careful of that. Um, but what I was trying to say is that these loops uh, technically they will compress until the point where they actually become inverted and we get an overhang and that's what they're there for but that's not how you would create a mesh from scratch if you were planning on doing a fat character from scratch. The other thing I'm concerned about is whether or not these regions here will look decent but in actually actually uh, you can see that the mesh loops the edge loops running around this region are actually really um, quite nicely aligned with where the fat needs to lie. The only real bad part is back here where it runs directly across all of these edge loops. Um, but even that's not too bad. So let's see how it looks when I turn smoothing back on. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, obviously there's some details I damaged when I was doing this but um, overall, this is a fat character, and he looks fine. So, I think the Make Human Mesh is suitable for fat characters, and to that end, um, I would give kind of a heartfelt um, call out. I, I want to say, Make Human, um, or anything else that is about people, there are people who aren't skinny. Uh, I think you may have seen them from time to time walking the streets. To be honest, I don't really understand. There aren't really very many really skinny people. Um, not in America, at any rate. So having your absolute maximum weight, something that would be considered uh, fairly svelte, fairly um, tawny, you know, uh, not, not at all chunky. It, they wouldn't even hit the chubby meter. They'd be considered almost skinny. Um, and if that's your heaviest weight, that's excluding a huge part of humanity. Uh, and that's kind of a shame. But, all told, their mesh does actually allow you to reach those kinds of distortions, so I'm not sure why those distortions aren't programmed in. Uh, maybe, they would, maybe, they, maybe they would find this unacceptable. Maybe they would find these stretches unacceptable and they're going to release a, a mesh that's optimized for chunky people. Well, we'll find out. Either way, I'll be using this mesh, uh, unless I find a better one, I'll be using this mesh in my game. Uh, not, not this exact format. I'm not going to I'm not gonna start off with every character looking like this, obviously, but since I know that the characters can look like this, I will be happy to use this mesh and make some of my characters look like this.